What's up, everyone? I'm Dev Dog Devin, and welcome to another episode of Designing Labs, where clients help me complete the challenge of designing a memorable logo in just a moment, or laugh at our designs in just a moment. Today's special guest client is none other than Yesenia. Yesenia, <laughs> how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. May I ask, who are we designing for today? Okay. So my company is no one saw that. And the whole point of this. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Pump I was brakes. excited. I'm going for it. <laughs> no, you're doing. Oh, shoot. Hold on a second. You're fine. Now, you just said uh, your name of your company is called no one saw that. Yet yeah, no one saw that, did they? I hope not. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Before you go into telling me on this show, we'd like to do a little icebreaker and okay. uh, try to see if we can uh, guess what the industry you're representing based oh. off of the name alone. Uh, okay. Usually I'm is curious. very, very wrong. However, though, for <laughs> you know the fun of it, let's see what, what we can come up with. So when I hear the word, no one saw that. Mm-hmm. First of all, that's so many different uh, like possibilities. Is it a product? Is it a service? I think it's a product. And I think no one saw that as like some spectacles of the futures, if you know what Ooh, I mean. I would have loved to think of that, but no, not a product. All right. So if it's not a product, then it's got to be a service. And if it's a service... No one saw that. It must be like a way of mer erasing your memory, like <laughs> men in black in the future and the present. Like if it was a real thing. I wanted to go with something a little bit more sci-fi, but no, not quite. It's actually like a combination of ridiculous and realistic. What? So it, it's okay. I think it'd be doable with a little bit of like, you know, coordination. Okay, please do tell me more. I want to hear about. Okay. So in this economy, there's a lot of gig work, right? So a lot of people are doing gigs to survive as we need okay. to do. Um, so I was thinking no one saw that. You're going about your day to day and something embarrassing happens to you. Maybe like you're at work and suddenly you slip and fall and now everyone's talking about that. So you're embarrassed and you're like, oh no, how could I possibly go on with the rest of my day? Well, no one saw that is your gig opportunity you can contract a special on-the-spot actor to show up and distract everyone so that no one saw what happened to you or they forget about it because they're like, oh, man, it trumps it. Yeah. I think it'd be a great job for, like, aspiring actors. You you basically, you're on the app, and if you're in the area, you get the little gig, and then you have to come up with an on-the-spot distraction that would make everyone forget about what just happened to that other person. So someone spills coffee on their shirt, the other person like burns their hair in front of everyone. It's like, oh no, and like super distracts them. And they can come up with whatever they want. And then the person has to rate them and go like five stars. No one remembers what happened to me. No one's talked about it ever again. No one saw that. That's the premise. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And no one saw that. No one saw that. That's no amazing. That. That's amazing. So, like, what would the target audience of no one saw that be? Like, I mean, of course we've seen actors, but, like, mm. would you see more of an older audience or would it be more of uh, younger, newer, newer um actors? I feel would it be like, even, like, so the behind-the-scenes people? We got two audiences, right? Because you've got the actors who want, like, like the improv people, right? Like that's the right. that's the car target audience for the people who are going to work the app okay. or the, the okay. system. But the customer, I think the customer is going to be somebody who is like just for laughs, thinks it's not serious. And then they like take it and it's like, oh, crap, somebody really did come and distract me. It's got it's like, oh, OK, they're, they're, they've got me covered. So it could be honestly, I could see somebody being like, I need someone to pretend to be like my mom to like get me out of detention or I need someone to come in and distract the 
parole officer. We're not going to go there, but you know what I mean? Like, it could be <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, like, hey, I need no, to, no one hey, saw that distraction. Yes. It, it so, definitely you know, could, uh, can definitely be yeah. a game changer. Yeah. You mean, you know, you see that rom com when someone's like, oh, I want someone to pretend to be my boyfriend and go to this wedding. No, no one saw that. No one saw you being single. No one saw that. <laughs> they, 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 um, I was reading some article just recently. Um, I'm not going to go into that because we're not going to pull it up or nothing, but it was really talking about like how all these like mail order brides and, uh, mm. and, and bridesmaids and all that kind of stuff. And, and it's, it's a, it's, it's wild to know that this is what we come to in this world now. I but, mean, but then hey. again, though, there's a market for everybody. There is a market for everybody. And this would be safe, right? Cause you know who you'd be getting. You wouldn't have some rando, right? Like there'd be a profile. They'd be vetted similar to like your Uber driver or your Uber eats person. So that's the idea, right? Like, so it's like safe gig work. You've got someone coming in and just helping you out on the spot. You can do five stars. There's no meet and greet beforehand. Like that would probably be like more of an advanced package if you want to like, like, you know how you can schedule a, a, a somebody to drive you like days in advance. This would be like mm -hmm. that service. But for just starting out, it's like on the spot. I need someone to be an improv this. And they can rate their like oh. actors. Like, okay, did you do a good job? Were you convincing? Do people believe you? Right? Like that kind of stuff. So like, how are you going to get people when it comes to getting actors to sign on for it? Like, are you guys giving them more money than the average person are? Like what's giving you guys I mean... the, the legwork that's, that, you know, that sets you guys apart from everybody else as far the as, way you know. I see it. And this is a little bit exploitative, let's face it, because it's not real. <laughs> but the way I see it, most actors make like zero money, right? Like right. this is an opportunity to get an acting job, right? Get paid, right? So it'd be probably whatever hourly wage we can get with some mm -hmm. fees and stuff, right? Standard. Uh, but then they would they would get that on their they'd be able to put it on their resume, right? Like you could see I'm a five star, no one, no one saw that representative because okay. i've got a thousand people saying like they love my work right that kind of stuff so, so i feel like, like it would be good IMDb? for like yeah it would be their imdb like that's okay. I, I could see them being like you know hey i'm good look at this i was a successful you know pretended to do this and everyone believed me we're good showed up <laughs> with suit and tie and i was somebody's lawyer for the day <laughs> even though that's probably illegal uh i mean yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get what you're coming from, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, yeah, who would you say uh, would be like your target audience? So not your target audience. I just asked you that. I meant to ask you, <laughs> who would you say would be like your direct competition? Would it be like something like Angie's List? Mm, I think you're right. Something like Angie's List. But I think they're really more honed in on like services like plumbing and like electricians and stuff. I don't think they've really thought of like, well, what if someone needs you know, like a pretend anything or just a distraction. Um, so I'm thinking like, maybe like there's a, there's other gig work stuff, right? right? But they're not zeroed in on just actors and like random opportunities. It's all very like thought out ahead of time. No, this is, this is impromptu work. This is improv, like on the spot. I need you to do this. Can you do it? Right. And it's literally just like, oh, you need me to just pretend to be this? Sure. And, you know, aspiring actors can get some work, real time right. feedback. So I feel like, yeah, something like Angie's List. There's other things like Upwork, maybe. But again, they're more like professional. We're yeah. not looking for that. We're looking for, I mean, I guess professional actors, but they're looking more for like professions. We're not doing that. We're not I doing, get it. I get it. you know, I don't need an electrician to pretend to be something. I mean, I guess if they, if they also want to be an actor, they can't. <laughs> It sounds like you niched it down, and I think that's a very important thing to 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 um, highlight at this moment. When it comes okay. to like branding and coming up with a company, like if you have a specific market and a niche thing that you do, that sets you apart right away. So the, kudos to you for already having that. And with that being said, let's move on to the next phase of the of the podcast where we talk about more about the design process when it comes into uh, building the brand and creating the logo. Um, okay. Now, with that being said, you've told me some great things about this company. It's so refreshing to even to hear you talk about that because that's something that um it's pretty cool that you even uh we're talking about it today. You know, like it's not something that you hear every day. 
for some first and foremost. And then also too, like shit, like let's uh let's experiment and see what we can really come up with together to be able to further show in real life like what that brand would look like when it comes to no one saw that (laughs) with that being said um i just need you to give me some nouns or some action words that really describe what you think no one saw that represents Mm, okay Mm, nouns and action action words My grade school grammar is like, what words? I'm blanking. Hold on. Okay. So, oh, that's an adjective. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Nouns and verbs. So, actions. Um, I mean, they have to be able to act, right? So, okay. it's act. Um, mm, it's got to be something that can... Would you say community base is like community would be a big word to I mean, represent? I feel so. Ooh, actually, it does have to be spontaneous because, okay. I mean, it would suck if you yes. had your actor within your community and then the person who they were pretending to be showed up and was like, hey, aren't you like Timmy's lawyer? And it's like, oh, yeah. crap. No, I'm not. <laughs> and then yeah, right, right. So like it has to be like, mm, mm, that that was that would be tough. So not necessarily community based. It's got to be spread out a little bit. Um, okay. Mm, okay. Sorry, it means that. It means that. Are you gonna have like one particular certain cover um, actors, maybe in certain markets that represent that market more? I maybe. I think like there has to be a a different like they have to be able to get to you fast enough. But I'm wondering if it's like there has to be some sort of safe safe way to like not be able to like I don't know maybe they have to disguise themselves maybe just being able to disguise and pretend is really key because right. if I would like go in and pretend to be somebody's like big sister to get them out of trouble then like and somebody sees me on the street it's like oh hey aren't you that's the person I'd be like oh crap no I'm not sorry right, right. or like you'd have to be able to remember that you pretended right. to be that person and that would put them in trouble right so it's, like, it's got to be like a one-off not recurring um I don't know well, if this is helping. So walk me through. even if it's one off, like it's not like every day you're gonna be using this. I don't think even if there's doing it on a daily basis, like that's true. I mean, after a couple of days, you know, you kind of build on to the next project or whatever. So I don't yeah. think you have to worry about that. I would However, hope not, but yeah. Hmm. What about the word um, networking? Like, I feel like that's a big court. It's network. Like, it really yeah, is a network. Oh, of- you would. Yeah, you would get to know a lot of people. Right. A lot of different types of people, too. Right. Um, we could probably also develop like professional like. Mm, like improv classes just to be like, OK, mm, on the spot, got to be this. What would you do if you needed to do that? Right. Like that kind of thing. So um, definitely networking. Um, mm, it's got to be. I think I know I already said spontaneous. I already said acting. Um, you've got to be able to assimilate like to the situation. You've got to okay. be able to blend in. You've got to be able to um, read the room, right? Like you've got to be able to see what's happening and be able to like switch gears. Okay. Mm, what else? I don't know. Let me know. Is this helping? Is this doing anything? No, it absolutely is. <laughs> okay. Allow me to to to, to uh, interject if you don't mind. No, you're so, good. You're good. Um, networking and spontaneous is, is two of the biggest words that you right over uh, you have already um, established. I feel yeah. like those are two big enough words that we can go with and okay. go play with a lot with, when it comes to uh, building up this brand. So okay. with that being said. Let's move on to the design challenge. Now, okay. when it comes to the design challenge, normally, you know, we design a logo within a matter of a certain amount of time, and okay. we're still going to do that as normal today. We're still going to design a logo within 10 minutes, 
Oh, and what? we're going to see <laughs> what we come up with. Now, okay. for today's challenge to make it a little bit different because of the fact that we are designers in our own ways, we're going to up the stakes a little bit by making it be only an icon. So it's going to be for the app, like you said. So okay, let's see what kind of app icon we can come up with in 10 minutes for no one saw that. Okay. <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen with you, and then we're going to go ahead and get started designing. Okay. We're going to start the challenge off. Now, before I do that, though, I want to give you a chance to be able to give me one other element that you would like to see in the design. Okay. What's one thing that you would like to see in the design to make it 100% unique? Oh, um... Oh god. Okay, an element. I think it needs to Okay, I don't know if this is going to help you or make it harder. It's got to be chameleon-esque. Cuz I think part oh, so of you it wanna, You you want to show like camouflage or you mean like it has yeah. to transition? Yeah, a little bit of both. I want I want there to be some sort of like you you need to be able to see the logo but also not see it cuz it's like you, no one saw that. You can't, like, it's okay. it's got to have a little bit of both. You got to be able to discern it, but not, right? Because, like, only so, the right people should know. Most everybody else should not see, should, they should not be able to see it. That's, there. there's, <laughs> that's, that's what comes okay. to mind. So, so let's clarify. Let's mm -hmm. say it has to have a hidden element in it. Yes. All that. right. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get it. We're going to go ahead and start the timer now for the 10 minute challenge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. You're not expecting me to do any drawing, right? Because like that's not that's not on this on this on this uh, uh, podcast. Yes, we are designing together. We're helping me complete the challenge oh. to design a memorable logo in <laughs> a matter of moments. So now, whoo, we got a we got a lot going on. We got literally ten and a half minutes, nine and a half minutes. So what okay. what would you like to see when it comes to a icon for a no one saw that okay you so said just an icon yeah i don't know i feel now, like oh. go ahead i'm sorry no no no. you're good i don't i i don't know i mean like if it's hidden i know i said chameleon s so like but i feel like that's such a a common logo for other things so we can't use right. that what's something else that like blends in or like is hidden um well, what about what if we do something like create an image but something within the image is just hidden. It don't have to be literally okay. in okay. color because if, if you're gonna do it in color, I feel like you could just do like a gradient or something like that. And that would be mm -hmm. an easier, more simpler way to, to, to be able to show okay. that visually. So we can do okay. that once we get it, but we gotta visually get an idea of imagery, right? So we got eight and a half minutes left. <laughs> what do you think about, about when it comes to an image, like an icon when it comes to, um, um, when you think of the word, no one saw that. No one saw that. And you said um, it has to do with acting. I think, okay, so uh, curtains, maybe? Like, acting curtains? Okay. Um, okay, I like what you're like, where, you where know, you're going with that. So that could be... Uh, I don't know if we, like, it's, we're just sticking with the first thing I say. So that was the first thing. Well, one. I mean, we got to start playing with something. So let's see yeah. what, you know, what we can... Um, okay. So what you said acting have? curtains, right? Yeah, like little acting curtains. Um, That's a... What else? I guess we could do something like you initially thought it was a product, so I was like something with shades, like, like you know, like the only looking at, like over eyes, like something like that. Oh. Huh. Um, I was thinking maybe something to do with like the little uh, acting scene thing, but I don't know if that would be too like obvi. I mean. Yeah, I, I feel I recommend you stay away from that because it might come off as being like, oh, is this a, a play or is this straight that's up like true. the movie maker or like very, oh, very that's generic? True. Um, okay, let's see. No one saw that. Yeah, I'm I'm stuck with like the curtain or the eye thing. Like that's because I mean like I feel like it'd be a subtle nod to like when you have like the eyes facing a certain way. They're almost like 
following you, but they're not supposed to follow you. You know, like those paintings where you walk in and like it feels like they're looking at you, but they're not supposed to be. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Okay. Like yeah. that like optical um, illusion thing. Yeah. Or where it's like, that was horrible. Let's try this again. <laughs> I mean, you are doing this with a mouse, so like I totally understand. Yeah, but I should have did that better. I can do it better. <laughs> but then again, though, it gives it a little hand drawn feeling, which is not bad. It's just. Yeah. Hold on, let's try this one more time. Okay, we got six and a half minutes. Oh my goodness, we didn't get nothing. Yep, <laughs> time goes by really fast. All right, so let's just say we do this. Um, at this point, oh, no, that's not what we want to do. Why is this not coming together how I want it to? All right, let's try that again. We're gonna... Alright, that doesn't want to work for some reason. Let's do it this way then. Let's get the... This. And let's go in here. And then let's switch it to the pen tool. And add these points from there. Come on. It's not acting right. I don't know what's going on right now. All right, oh. let's. This is. <laughs> this is not. It's okay. Turning out so well. Let's scratch that. When it okay. comes to a curtain, that curtain. will work. But we're kind of running out of time. And when it comes to doing something real quick, now we really are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, running <laughs> down. All right. So let's let's do this. Let's uh. Let's get the pen tool again. And then we're gonna, well, I'm still gonna, I like what you was thinking about that. You know, it's just, when it comes to execution wise, we don't have a whole lot of time. If worse comes to worse, we might have to start switching over to AI just to come up with, just to have something to generate. Oh no. But, <laughs> but. I mean, I like where you're going. So like, I do imagine these curtains. And I'm, I'm trying, trying to stylize think. I'm like... them, make them exaggerate. So it doesn't look like it's straight up normal. Um, yeah. You know. So something, let's just say we did something like that. Mm -hmm. It's just literally an outline. You up the stroke weight. Let's say make it nice and bold. We can go way bigger than that. Let's do something like that. There we go. Okay. But like you need something really nice and solid for it to be your icon. And you said you wanted it to have what else on it? Um, so like maybe behind the curtain, you've got like a little peekaboo moment, like just like some eyes with like someone like shades, just so it like, it's like, okay, almost like you're like, you're making sure no one saw that. Huh, hold on a second. I got something. Well, we do like some cut out eyes. Okay. Let's see what that would look like on the curtains. Um, all right yep we got three minutes Ooh, and 20 seconds <laughs> it generates quick i swear well, okay hold on all right hurry hurry <laughs> race against the time all right oh. so this is what we got for cut out eyes that's a little traumatizing i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that looks that looks sus <laughs> yeah it does <laughs> this one sad. definitely hold on let's at this point we don't really have too much to go with so we're gonna have to stick with it man oh no that one looks i mean that one looks kind of cute oh no not that one that, no oh, <laughs> that one's definitely you're okay. scary <laughs> you said it's so scary <laughs> that one's scary <laughs> That's Which one? This one? Of I think the yellow one, the one in the middle, is probably the the best. The best. Oh god, yeah, that, one, that one. That looks like I don't know. Planets. It looks like spoiled, spoiled deviled eggs or something. That too, yeah. The green <laughs> eggs in the hands was uh was blue and red instead, you know. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's see. We got two minutes left. Oh my goodness, I don't know. Okay. If this uh, is gonna 
it's coming off starting to look a little bit something like a <laughs> um I would say they snap need to be for some reason like... if you think if oh you my think about gosh it. you're right <laughs> okay the curtains are looking a little bit like hair now <laughs> I wonder if we can move like the circles the black eye circles so that they're leaning to like the side kind of like they're side eyeing you a little bit but not really I can do something like that okay well, we already have so much time but we can see about it though uh, <laughs> i don't know just, just, make, you want, just, just, the, just, just the, the black parts yeah just kind of like the yeah like that? yeah Are except <laughs> yeah he's no. cross-eyed now he's... no looking the same direction all right so like something like yeah exactly well a little bit higher but yeah something like that like yeah like they just got to be like side-eyeing you a little bit at the very least Let's say you're looking up. You're looking up. There we go. I can live with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then let's say we. You said you wanted it to be. Oh, shoot. That's just like one of the things from uh, Space Jam or something. I feel like we're ripping off Among Us now. <laughs> That's what I feel like. This is too wide Among Us. Oh that. my goodness! That was too um, so much. All right, so I feel like we might we need to generate some left. curtains. Oh no! We got Thirty seconds left. I still gotta, still gotta uh, finish it so we can say we have something submitted that for an icon. Oh my goodness! No. All right, hold on. No, 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 I no, mean, no. just the regular eyes work. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so just the regular eyes. I feel like a, well, I mean? actually, the outline's good. What is I do it feel you, like you want to get rid of? I feel like we need to get seconds. rid of the yellow. Oh no! I was about to say, the the yellow? yellow might need to change to a oh. different color. <gasps> oh, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Ran out uh -oh. of time. Well, you know what? It's, okay. it's good. <laughs> For a little yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes. Good logo. ish. Good ish. Got the eyes looking up. Uh, so let's. I feel like we, we can hide. That we did not complete the challenge. Well, let's just try to at least finish up the logo within the next five minutes so we can submit it to the public to see what we can say. <laughs> this is what. No, you didn't see that. It looks like. This you know is, what I mean? Like, because this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is first draft. Okay, I, I do like the element of the eyes. Maybe mm -hmm. we lose the curtains. Maybe we just. No, um, that's what the eyes oh, look like with, uh, without the yellow. I like it without the yellow. I didn't mind the rounds, okay. but actually that's way better. Okay. Maybe because the curtains right now are looking just kind of like like a random shape. Maybe okay. we do. Um, trying to think of where else you wouldn't want like someone to see. We've got maybe we can hide the eyes in something, right? Because that'll give me that hidden element. You said hide in something, right? Yeah. What could you hide a pair of eyes in? That is related I mean, maybe, to... maybe this is not a curtain. Maybe this is the mask. And this is the eyes are hidden in the mask is. Oh, but the eye, okay. But the eyes look like a curtain. So, but that's... the mask looks like a curtain. That's true. So we, we, can... we would want the mask to look a little bit more curtain-like then. Yeah, you're right about that, though. So with that said, hold on. Let's see what we can do with something. Let's, uh, let's try to finish making this into more of an icon first. So I'm going to round off these corners first. Okay. So, actually, it would help if I select all of them. I think. What? There we go. All right. And then we'll send it to the back. Let's say. We do a um, let's see, let's do a let's do this to be outlined and this part to be white, okay? And then let's up the stroke on uh, box, okay. And We'll fit it in here more so that it fits the shape of 
the icon a little bit better so that it looks like it's part of it. Oh. And then that's pretty with the placement a little bit. Oh. Maybe like when I'm thinking about putting the name, well, since it's just an icon, it would be like this. But if you wanted to, you could also put the name up up, up above it. Yeah. I like it like this. Like, this is interesting. I see where you're going. Yeah. What are your inputs on it, though? Hmm. I like that the dude's looking kind of ambiguous. I'm not saying it's a mm -hmm. dude, but it could be an it, right? So, like, it's looking really right. ambiguous, which I like. So, I, I don't mind, like, the little outline part. That's also, like, hmm. This is totally different when you actually uh do it like that though what about that yeah it's just yeah. the eyes it is just the eyes i think that's pretty that's pretty memorable to me but what yeah. do you all think you know what do you think do you want to you want to go with that or do you want to stick with the shape of the actual showing the curtains i think i like this better i mean it's good i don't the yellow is the part that I'm like, yellow stands out though. Yeah. Right? Because I'm like, I feel like everyone would see it if yellow was there. Right, right. Because it's such a like poppy color. It is. Like, it definitely has a spontane spontaneity to it. Yeah, right. So I was like, I feel like it does need to be like a more muted color or something that mm -hmm. blends in a little bit better. But okay. I'm like, ugh, I also don't want to go with like just the millennial gray. So it's kinda like, what do you what do you go with? that blends in but isn't so like so it can't be like red yellow maybe yeah, blue it, it would give it like it would it would, it would give like it a different a feel to it, it now would. what would you what do you want to be blue within it are you talking about the eyes or are you talking I about just, the i feel like just the yellow the yellow like the background itself has to be a different color to blend in better hold on the background so you're saying this yellow shouldn't be yellow it should be something yeah different? Yeah, I think it needs to be more muted. So let's stick with this at this moment as far okay. as the logo being how it is. I'll give you a, a chance to take a look at some more color swatches and you'll be able to narrow it down when we come yeah. back. That works. All right. <laughs> cool. Let's go and take a look at some swatches. Okay. And uh, let's take a look at the following swatches and see what catches your eye. And uh, maybe we pick a okay. color out of there and we'll use it. Okay. Okay. Mm, let's see. I kind of like that blue. Like, it's a blue color. It's on the... On the left? Oh, what is that? Right. On the right? Uh, it's just above your mouse, that one. That might not be a bad. Like, I feel like it's the type of blue that I would forget. Like, it just blends in a little bit. I got you. It's more of a uh, rustic kind of feel. A little bit, yeah. Very 
What? Very neutral. There you go. I won't say yeah. rusty. Very yeah. neutral. It feels neutralish. Mm. All right. So this. Oh, actually, it. we could lean into the camouflage thing and go with like a green, like a camo green. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be too much though. We could. I mean, we can play with it. That's what the yeah. blue looks like. I'm going to get rid of this. We said we're not going to use that. So this is what it looks like. And I don't know about you. Oh, I don't this see. Like... Sorry. I don't see you, the you don't uh, see... the illustrator oh. part. You're good. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. I'm over here. <laughs> I was like, I still see the palettes. I'm, They're pretty I went back to this. <laughs> right. <laughs> I went back over here and designed. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, so what do you think? <laughs> oh, mm, oh. <laughs> I see what you mean. It's giving ninja, and I don't know how that. <laughs> you know what it's giving me? It's giving me Among Us. Yeah, but could that be because of the eyes? Like, I feel like regardless of what color we pick, do you think it's gonna be that way? It could be that. What if we made the eyes just either smaller or bigger, like the whole eye part bigger or smaller? Well, that would be have to be in another episode because at this point now the design is being done and gotcha. that's not part of the. That, I think we're gonna we have, have but, to stick with this then. Yeah, we're gonna stick with this, but the color choice can make a big difference. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to try that green? Colors. Let's try. Yeah, let's try the green and uh, let's. I'm thinking like a camo-y type green. Let's go back here. Okay, and uh, you said the camo green like this? No, I would like use this? probably one of like the military-ish looking ones down there. Oh, uh, further down. Yeah. Sorry. Those green, gotcha. maybe? Something like that? This one? Like the olive green more? Or... I like the... It's between the olive or the one to the right of it. And... Let me... Well, it's got green, but it's so so dark though it's it kind of like, like do you want to try like too, a lighter lighting variation is, <laughs> yeah my lightning is hoping it's making it look like it's brownish but yeah it i is can green, see why though. it looks brown it, mm -hmm. it was the light that's all it's green it's green <laughs> i'm not colorblind could... everybody <laughs> <laughs> i mean this could be uh, one of those like is it a blue blue and black dress or gold and white dress moment <laughs> yeah like... <laughs> right um, we could try with a slightly lighter green. Okay. And then after that, we'll we'll uh, we'll make a decision. Okay. Uh, shortly, so we can move on to uh, the next part because so no logo represents the brand. It just basically is a way to identify the brand, and if it's memorable, people can recognize the brand by just the logo markets alone. So yeah. when it comes to uh, here at DEF, we try to, you know, show uh, on the podcast, uh, Design and Last, that branding is more than just a logo design. Actually, logo design is just one aspect of it. And um, just to clarify that, uh, when we move to the next part of the process of designing our logo, we also want to see how it's going to really look in the real world. So I'm going to lead you. I'm just trying to tell you about it now. So when we okay. go to it, you'll know what's going on. Um, so when it comes to that, you said you want to try the, yellow, the lighter olive, right? Yeah, let's see what that one looks like. So... No, it's a lot of back and forth, but it's all good. <laughs> all right, so. I think I like that color a little bit better. It pops more. And there's more of a too. Yeah, I could see that. I like it. I think that's good. All right, so let's say we're going to say this is going to be no one saw that. <laughs> no one saw that. <laughs> I like no. it because it's almost like like they're looking to check. <laughs> yes, like literally. 
a second. <laughs> Let me see something. If you don't mind, I just want to try something real quick. Okay. Hold on. Who's that? And then there's that. What if we did it like a cutout? Then it's like whatever is in the back. That's all I want. Nope, that, that, that's not what I was trying to do. Okay, so that doesn't look right. All right. So I feel like we need to need to keep it in there because otherwise it's just gonna be a blank. Uh. Cause we could basically what i was going to do is going to basically get rid of that hold on that's not what i was trying to do <laughs> i was going to get rid of that but that's what it would look like oh mm. i think i do that like looks... the little yeah i'm saying it needs yeah. it yeah that, that that looks like but that is so odd and distinct though too though isn't it <laughs> but i don't it know is. what that says yeah i don't know there's something about the little the little thing that just kind of breaks it up a bit. Yeah, you, you, I feel like you need that though. Yeah. Do you do you like it being gray, or do you think it should be a lighter gray? Mm, I actually think that's a good color. It complements it. it. Again, it's a muted blending in type right. of color. Okay. All right. Well, I'm with okay that with said, it. I need to know from you if you had a chance to be able to put this on a product what it would look like so mm. however the catch is since we did not click the challenge you won't have a chance to be able to actually put it on the products that you choose gotcha choose a number one through six and actually don't choose a number choose three numbers one through six Oh, and, three numbers. Yep. I need okay. all three of them at one time. All three at one time. Uh, I'm going to say two, three, four. All right. Now I'm going to give you a second chance to be able to choose your change your mind. Mm, no, I said two, three, four confidently. I'm going to stick with two, three, four. Oh, I tried to give you the option. Oh, no. But... <laughs> Oops, that's the end <laughs> of the game. Dang. Uh, so we won't be able to see how it's going to be able to look on the other products, unfortunately, this time. However, that's though, okay. maybe next time when you come back, we'll pick up from where we left off and we'll now be able to see where we can improve upon when it comes to okay. know you. Oh, it's like no one saw that. That's right. No one saw that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, got it well <laughs> no, one, yeah. no one saw that Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure like working with you like now that you've kind of have went through the experience and kind of gotten the motion or so the 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 um the wheels turning as you will what do you want to see when it comes to the design next time when you come back oh um I think I'd like it to be, I think I'd want to see what it would look like more defined to the actual service. Um, okay. Cause like right now it could be like the logo to a kid's show, right? Like, or it could be the logo right. to um, some, anything else. Some, I'd like to see what it would look like closely tied to no one saw that or like closer okay. to, right? Like, so, you know, you see certain logos, you like, oh, easy. That's that one thing. I, kind of you know what would it look like if it was more closely identified so glad you said that i feel like the best logos are the ones that don't literally describe what they actually do mm -hmm. um okay. take example sony uh fedex uh there's just so many different companies there's a bunch of them even though those ones might have more of a logo type they still don't define exactly what they are by just you looking at it. Now, mm. when you look at it and you see the other sub, like, um, uh, what do you call it? Sub genres, because they have, you know, the FedEx ground and they got FedEx freight and flight and different things. That, but it all comes together to build the whole band of FedEx. And because of yeah. that kind of stuff, 
it all works cohesively. Uh, it works. It can br be broken down, and it can all work cohesively. And I feel like when it comes to branding, a lot of times people get the, the, the consumption of if I don't know what it is right off the bat, then that's not a strong logo, and that's not the case. So I want you to be very cautious of that. Just kind of giving you an idea of what to think about ahead of time, so that way when we come back to the the table, like we will uh, both have something to be able to um, to grasp off of and be able to uh, yeah. explore more of it. There, okay. there we go. That's the word. Sounds good. I can think about it more. But yeah, I'd be happy to. I mean, I liked that we were able to come up with something really, really fast. Obviously, I know in real life that that's unrealistic. Right. Um, no logo for, you know, I mean, they sh it shouldn't, but maybe it does. I don't know. You tell me. You're the professional here. Um, but, you know, I'm thinking like it would take more time and effort to go into it. So I think it I really like that we came up with something that like just kind of like, you know, for funs and giggles. So I think I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah, like as a logo designer or as a graphic designer in general, like yeah, it's a time consuming. It's a oh, lot yeah. of, um, it's a lot of preparation. It's not yeah. just me putting something together just because I think it looks good or or it doesn't look good or rethinking. You know, just because let me see it, it. It's there is some some trial and error. There is some experimentation because you do want to push the boundary you don't want to just do what the first sure. comes with it but yeah it definitely is a process that takes you usually about four to six weeks or, or oh, more yeah. it depends how big the project is and what the final outcome that you're trying to get with the with, with it yeah, with that no, being said sure. i just want to say thank you to my special guest client today Yesenia, <laughs> representing no one saw that because <laughs> no one saw that <laughs> no one, all no right, one saw that. All <laughs> no right, all right. <laughs> hey, work on that because that actually could be like a little slogan or something. You know, who knows? <laughs> Sounds good. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Uh, but um, thank you once again. I'm Dev Dodd Devin. Everyone who is watching today, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, stay engaged. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, let us know what we can do uh, next time on Designing Last. Peace! It's time to design last.